That's Miss Freeman walking her dog in front of her building. A man passes by. He appears to say something, then stops in his tracks, turns around, and unleashes a closed fist sucker punch that knocks her unconscious. We freeze the video before her head hits the wall. No apparent rhyme or reason. That's the scary part, and that's why I said that he's sick. Right? If, had it been somebody that tried to rob me, it would have been somebody that wants uh, to make, you know, to get to get away with something. Miss Freeman is back outside, walking her dog bare, left with bruising and a broken nose. But Friday evening, she was laid out on the concrete, bare by her side, as her attacker casually walked off. Check it out, guys. The Bible talks about. Satan roaming the earth, seeking whom he may devour. That is exactly what cowards do, because they are of their father, right? The number one command in the Bible is fear not. It's over 300 plus times in the Bible. There's actually one command, one verse for every day of the year, some say. Fear not. Children of the light, fear not. Now, here's the reality of the game. When you make yourself vulnerable to evil people, you make yourself a larger target. This sweet little old lady was not paying attention to her environment. When the enemy is seeking whom he may attack or devour, the less aware you are, the more you stand out. You can see here, this evil person walks right past her, stops, notices that he now has a clear opportunity to sucker punch her from behind and just do something that is evil. When you understand evil, you understand it is a spirit. There's no reasoning with it. There's no logic. There's no um, pacifying it. There's no rehabilitating evil, right? And so you can rehabilitate uh, mistakes and character issues, but this is evil. You can't sit there and go, well, I guess this makes sense because no, it doesn't make sense. It's just evil. So the way this ties into your tactical protection review today is, especially if you're of a class that is more physically vulnerable, i.e. females, right? We're hearing all the attacks about females getting punched by random guys. You have to have extra situational awareness. Now, it's kind of one of those things. I have five sisters and lots of women in my life. The natural tendency is not to be super aware from what I've seen. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Those dads and husbands who are constantly trying to get your, 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 your sisters and daughters and wives to pay attention to their surroundings, understand the struggle. You guys need to be extra aware. If you're gonna be standing in the open, put your back up against the wall. Make eye contact with people. Um, if you feel like they're starting to vector in, do not avoid eye contact if they're vectoring in. Um, you know, when you go into places, make sure you move confidently um, because the enemy is seeking easy targets to devour. Because if you walk in with confidence and you're moving tactically, i.e. putting yourself in positions where they can tell that you're paying attention to who's in the environment, you can see everyone in the environment and you're ready to call for help and scream and fight like all heck if you need to in order to save your own life, you're not gonna be the one they mess with nine times out of 10. And for the rest of the times, make sure you have some force multipliers on you. The world is changing. Hopefully you're ready to start learning how to protect yourself. Join us at ProtectorNation.com. We've got over 70 hours of content to teach you how to protect yourself and stand by for in-person training. California Grid Down Survival is coming up. Check the website for the dates, ProtectorNation.com. Let's go. I love you guys. Boom, it's finally here. Go to ProtectorNation.com to join the Protector Nation community. Learn online and become part of our Protector Nation family. I look forward to seeing you guys there and for us all to join forces to make the world a safer place by helping good people to become more dangerous. I'll see you there, and until then, be peaceful, but not harmless.